Welcome back to the Rihanna guys. I'm your host Brian and tonight I'm talking the amazing race 36. This is episode four. Um, apologies for it being out a little later than normal. We had some conflict issues for the pretty much the entire week up until today when I'm recording this, but yeah, um, I kind of have a couple of bones to pick with this episode. I kind of wish that Bill was on because we both had some concerns about I just like some of the like the the detours and the roadblocks like just like placement here but we'll get to it um they're in um medellin colombia and um they start off the this leg by um parasailing in and they'll be leaving in three groups um, i thought the parasailing was pretty cool um they did it off um, the andes mountains um a couple people uh, said they were afraid of um, heights, but uh, once I got up there and saw how beautiful the um, scenery was and the landscape, and they're like they're like seeing the entire city um, overhead or underneath them, they really enjoyed it. I thought it was really cool. It'd be I would probably be afraid as well, but I'm not afraid of heights. But I think I, that would that kind of stuff scare me. that would make me definitely a little uneasy until like we're up there probably. But yeah, I thought it was really cool. So the three groups. Um, leaving at 9 15 9 30 and 9 45 um so the first group uh ricky and caesar uh no, no really surprise there they've been probably one of the better better teams throughout the race uh, and uh amber and Vinny after their jump from the last leg up to second place um and the other um the other like blocks of leaving nothing crazy there but um, that was the only one that had two in it all the other um uh groups had four teams in there but the, for the first clue they had to go to the um uh Camuna 13 and reservoir day sorry if that's spe- uh, spelled wrong or said wrong but basically they got to find an escalator that has the first clue for where they're going to hit their detour um and before they even get there amber is yelling at Vinny pretty much through probably the first half of this episode about like he needs to he's he needs to slow down She's like, he's like, you need to go a little quicker. So always one of my fears if I have a room with my wife is that this would be it. It's like, I'm trying to push it or I'm moving to like trying to make it like I'm all about the competition and kind of forget that just because I'm moving quickly or somebody else moving quickly doesn't mean that they're, they can do the same thing as you. So they did have a moment later in a taxi cab where they're kind of talking about it. Like he needs to be a little more patient and talk to her and like, she needs to communicate to him. So I would say a pretty normal interaction. I think that would happen with like you and your significant other. If there is like a situation where you're somebody's pushing harder than the other one, but all right. So the first detour you could either choose dance vibes or, or wall scribes. All right. And this is my first big problem with this episode. Wall scribes is easy as hell. I, I, I this was a joke to me of a detour. And then we have dance vibes, which, I mean, I, I can dance a little bit, but like this one was hard. I would say this was this was compared to Wall Scribes, exponentially way harder. And again, this should not be like because I even thought that the roadblock was difficult too. But I thought Wall Scribes was an absolute joke. I can't believe this was like because I mean, if we're being completely honest here, if Dana and Angie didn't do this one, they would still be racing. They they would still be at this leg because. I just thought it was I thought it was pathetic honestly just like that this was these have been a couple so far where it's just like the it doesn't match up in difficulty and um I mean kudos to the teams that did dance vibes like pretty quickly and well and so like some of them were like I'm not even gonna dance and they figured it out I, I was I was very impressed with anyone that did dance vibes um but like it, <laughs> getting out to it like Sunny and Busy had to switch here and they Honestly, like that to me was a losing offense. Um, how many times they couldn't figure out they were reading the clues in the wrong order. Like, I don't know. I just, I thought it was really bad. I, I, I'm really disappointed in the level of the difficulty, like matchmaking here. The, these being two detour choices. I just thought it was a joke. Um, really like to know what everyone else thinks that are like our loyal, our loyal commenters. Am I wrong here, or do you think that this was pretty? Was this a fair, evenly matched detour? Um, I'm gonna pop a video in here that I thought was really funny. That they somebody said I, I don't know if somebody they kept I don't remember what team said it, but like they they kept reading like you can't run 
run up the escalator or like pass you can't move, like something and they show the dog on a video just following the rules and i thought that was really funny i'm gonna pop it in here after i said that but um the the clue for the wall scribes is the world is smaller than you think and i, I think i could have figured this out in five minutes Maybe on the first, maybe the, the magnifying glass one. I think I would have gotten that maybe bigger, but like I would have figured it out. I just, I have no words. I have no words for it. Um, so after you do either one of one of the other here, you have to go to Plaza Butera for the next clue. Um, and essentially, uh, Butera. So essentially here is where a famous um, sculptor, he, his name was Fernando Botera. Um, he had a bunch of bronze statues in this like uh, square or like area. And what you had to do next was called um, Who's Feeling Artsy? And you, this was a roadblock and you had to put in, there's a map and it had like some landmarks on it. One of them was something that when Sunny and Busy said that they noticed that the, there were like circles on the map. And there, this is the only team that mentioned it is, she was like a landscape, landscape architecture major or something like that. But um, she could tell by the circles on the map where they were. And like, you can also use the buildings. And I, I guess some people struggle with this. Um, there was a couple of times where a lot of teams had almost every single one wrong on multiple, maybe like the 10th or further check. But you had to place their 12 of the 20 statues on a map. And like you... Um, they gave you 12 cards there was 20 there you had to figure out which ones they were where they went um i thought this one i thought this one was definitely challenging um i don't i don't know i don't know how i would have done i, I think i would have done all right i don't think i would have done what uh, michelle and um michelle and sean did but i think i would have uh i think i would have fared okay on this one it, i thought it was definitely worth the difficulty level um, you kind of had to get a bearing of where you were. Uh, it, the the sculptures were in Spanish. Um, I thought they were very unique where you can like, you, if you saw like the name of it, you could look at it and be like, okay, this is a big fat cat or this is a big fat head or somebody laying down. And anything like the statues were that um, similar. Like you could, I think you could work through it. And a lot of teams did. Some of them did it pretty quickly. And I, I found that to be impressive. So um a couple, um, I think, so Amber and Vinny, they finished their, um, they, they were, they finished second on this and they were waiting for directions and they actually helped out Dan, Danny and Angie gave them like the logistics of the map to help them out. Um, another team, two teams that worked together were, um, Rod and Letitia and, um, Sean and, or Shane and, um, wanted sheen so they were working together they kind of split the map and the map in half so one of them got six rod got six and shane got the other six thought it was a fine strategy in the end they also worked together trying to find uh, phil at the end um other than that i don't think anything crazy on that um on this roadblock i i, I people were struggling i i thought a lot of teams were were struggling so i didn't think it was like I thought it was a fair, balanced um, roadblock, unlike the detour choices here. Like, maybe it wasn't as cool, but I, I thought it was fair. Like, every team was struggling. No team had, like, a clear advantage. Um, so the final, um, the pit stop, they had to go to the Parquets del Rio um, in Medellin. And this is, they're, they're trying to make this, like, the first eco city in the country. And, um, yeah, I'll read off the order of... The limiting, I have two sets of notes here. So first we have Ricky and Caesar. Second, we have Amber and Vinny. Third, we have Angie and Danny. Fourth, we have Rod and Letitia. Fifth, we have Juan and Shane. Sixth, we have Derek and Shalisa. I just want to say, I love the grandparents so much. I, I think their banter is awesome. I thought like some of their interactions like were really cool. I, I really, really like them. Um, I also really like Rod and Letitia too. I, I like Rod's energy. Because I feel like a lot of other teams are just kind of like blah at this point. Those are those are definitely the two teams that I'm like really liking so far. Um, seventh place we have Yvonne and Melissa. Eighth we have um, Sunny and Busy. I was trashing Sunny and Busy because they did so terribly on the um, 
on the uh, word scribe, but they did. Re- I thought they did really well on the. I'm sorry, my kids are crying. Um, or squirming. Uh, I thought they did really well on the break dance pretty quick I-, I thought for being like they knew they were in last place they overcame some of the pressure and they did the dance i think they did it in their second or third attempt so kudos to them and they killed it on the like i said the landscaping uh thing they picked up with the circles like to help them get a bearing of the map i thought that was that was impressive so good for them i thought they were dead in the water after watching this episode like i never thought they were going to get out of there but they did it well uh ninth place was um kishori and karishma and Lemonade, Pleem, 10th place, Michelle and Sean. And I, the one thing I did like at the end is they did do have Phil do some of their jumper routine. And he was like, leave this in, leave this in the edit. And I, I thought that was really cool, even though they got there pretty late. Like they were the last team to get there, obviously, but it was dark. So noticeably, um, she was on like, they didn't show what her temp number was at the end for Michelle, but she was on her 19th. And she, I don't think she had like, she might have had like one, right? So she was definitely there for a while, but. They they weren't they weren't just they weren't like totally upset or defeated. They finished the race, which is um and Phil said it a couple of times, like you know, you can't ever give up on the amazing race. You gotta keep fighting because you never know what's gonna happen. But uh again, I thought it was an okay episode. I felt like we really hung on a lot of these challenges. Like I think this could have been a 60 minute episode. And I know that's probably gonna be the case on a lot of the episodes of this season, but I, I just felt like there was we saw so much of the breakdance and we saw so much of the um, who's feeling artsy challenge probably like uh, too much of the who's feeling artsy but yeah next week we will be back hopefully we'll have this out on um maybe uh, thursday like we normally do um i want to thank you guys all for watching uh make sure to check out all of our other things we have uh i just did ready to love yesterday and that was the reunion part one of season nine um, we have Farm Wants a Wife, we have Summer House, we have uh, Vanderpump Rules, we have The Valley, we have Vanderpump Villa, we also have Survivor, um, Summer House, Martha's Vineyard, we have a ton of things. So make sure to check all those things out, check out our TikTok, uh, drop a comment below of any show suggestion that you might want us to check out, and any other comments as well, because we like to, we like engaging with you guys, and we always appreciate your support. So hope you guys have an awesome rest of your weekend, and I'll talk to you in the next video. See ya.